Ladies and gentlemen, Gene Becknell and the Mansion proudly present one of America's clowns, Red Skelton. make a nervous guy relax, that's very flattering to walk out on a stage and hear applause without really doing anything. <laughs> that's probably the most applause I'm going to hear all morning, so I'll be smart and say goodbye now. Thank you very much. They're flying over the ocean and this jet goes by. <laughs> she said, did you see how fast that bird was going? He said, yes, yeah, so what? You'd go that fast too if your tail were on fire. <laughs> <laughs> She said, I'm tired of laying eggs. It's a pain in the neck. <laughs> he said, I think you're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> you're always complaining. Come on, follow me. So they fly down to City Hall. He said, you're tired of laying eggs? Watch the mayor down there. He's going to lay a cornerstone. <laughs> <laughs> Two highway patrolmen are sitting in their squad car. One looks at the other one. He says, you know, we haven't given out a ticket all day. And the other guy says, well, we'll nab the next guy that goes by. So they follow this Cadillac. The guy's a perfect driver. He stays in the proper lane, uses his directional signals, proper speed limit. One cop looks at the other one. He says, I've never seen anybody drive so carefully. We ought to congratulate this guy. So they pull him over. Nothing wrong, sir. Nothing wrong. I've been with the highway patrol for 35 years, and I've never seen anybody drive so carefully. And the guy said, when you're crocked, you got to drive careful. <laughs> It's good to see you folks again. I haven't been doing much of anything since I've seen you last. Well, I really never did do much of anything. I'm teaching those Boy Scouts how to tie Boy Scout knots. I'm a real whiz with those knots. Everything I see, I tie a knot in it. They made me stop milking, you know. <laughs> the other day, two of my rabbits were chased into a haystack by a coyote, and my rabbits were sitting there like this. <clears throat> he said, you want to make a run for it, or you want to stay here and outnumber them? He said, we're going to make a run for it, you idiot. We're brothers. <laughs> what are you doing on the ceiling? Oh. <laughs> Frogs. Frogs, they are everywhere. Frogs, frogs, frogs croaking fills the air. Louder, louder, louder is their blasting glare. And there's no silence in the night. You think I'm nuts, you paid to see this. <laughs> in the night. <laughs> this is Clem Cadiddlehopper playing with a feather.
Every time I say something, I get smacked for no reason at all. Like last night, my mommy said, you go to bed, the Sandman's coming. I said, give me a buck, I won't tell Pop. (laughs) Boy, there's a bunch of bald men out there. From up here, it looks like a game of marbles. Boy, look at that one. I bet you used to use head and shoulders. What are you using now, mop and glow? <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Augie. We have to go to the other side. Come on, boy. Okay. We were driving, and this kid stepped off the curb. I said, Clara, give him the right away. She plowed right into him. I said, what'd you do that for? She said, you told me to. I said, I told you to give him the right away. She said, I thought you said get him right away. (laughs) I'm going to do this as long as she's laughing, folks. (laughs) And the first time I ever performed this routine on film was for a 1945 MGM release called the Zigfield Follies. And Lucille Ball was also in the picture. And later on... Why would I want four glasses? Larry? No, he's already loaded. Thank you. Practice, practice, practice. (laughs) Now, in the movie, Lucille Ball was... You know, ladies and gentlemen, since I was a little boy in the fourth grade, two states have been added to our country, and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance under God. Wouldn't it be a pity if someday someone would say, that's a prayer, and it would be eliminated from schools too? God bless.